My name is Jeremy Utley. I am the Director of Executive Education at the Stanford D School. I'm also a lecturer there. So part of my time is spent working with organizations and helping them apply the principles and practice of design thinking in the corporate setting. I also teach classes at the D School. And right now I'm primarily focused on equipping student leaders not just to engage the techniques of design thinking, but really to enable them and equip them to impart those principles to other people and to lead teams in a design thinking manner. So I find that my work with organizations really informs how I approach students, and my work with students really informs how I then approach uh, organizational challenges. My background was from finance, actually. So I um, worked in investment management and found that wanting in some ways, and so switched and uh, worked in management consulting for a while. I then shifted gears and did some work in international development, so worked in um, Bolivia for a while, starting a, a startup incubator, small venture incubator, and then worked in Zambia doing some relief with AIDS orphans and counseling of uh, children who've been orphaned by AIDS, and then I came to business school at Stanford, got my MBA and through the course of my studies in business school I encountered the design school. Over time what I found is that there's, it's, design thinking is no less rigorous than anything else I'd ever done. Towards the end of my business schooling um, the folks of the design school asked if I wanted to stick around and teach and so I've been doing that now for the last four years. So design thinking at its core is about understanding an end user of a product or service, could be an external customer, could be an internal constituent, understanding them better than they understand themselves so that you might be able to address needs that are latent, that are implicit, that they may not even know about or be aware of with a, an innovation that is truly disruptive, truly breakthrough, that delights them, that exceeds their expectations. Design thinking does a really great job of removing hierarchy from a team and of removing ego from an idea. Because at the, at the end of the day, insights matter. Your idea, ideas are cheap, insights are expensive. And design thinking is all about getting a team to, to be consistently able to deliver breakthrough insights. And if you can deliver breakthrough insights, you'll get to ideas that may be replicable, but the ability to develop and deliver insights routinely is something that isn't replicable, I don't think. Now, expertise is increasingly becoming a liability because the knowledge of what worked in the past is not predictive of what's going to work in the future. And so you can't just lean on your past experience. You actually have to believe that you can bring your full self to bear in a profoundly new and fresh way every time you approach a problem. 